Hey guys, it's Susan Seiler from CC Livermore. I hope you are doing well. I want to show you how we set ourselves up in my family for success with IEW, um, how we did it last year, this past year, 2016, 2017, which was our first year in essentials. Loved it, loved it. Do not be afraid of essentials, embrace essentials. It's phenomenal. It's a fantastic program and IEW is amazing. Truly amazing. And um, how we're changing our setup from last year into um, our second year in Essentials 2017, 2018. Okay, so let me show you. This is the 2017, 2018 student book. Look at that. I have to tell you, we don't like this book. We love the content. The content's fabulous. The bulkiness, the unwieldiness, the heaviness lugging this book around was just not going to be something that I wanted to take on every single week. Um, one, I really felt like it was going to get tattered by the end of the year. Two, it took up a lot of room in my school bin. And three, it was heavy in my CC bag. And I already direct and I'm lugging a bunch of stuff every single week. This just felt like one more thing to lug around that didn't seem necessary because at one time we were only ever working on one lesson. So, but that to the side. This is what we did last year. I took the student binder, or excuse me, the student notebook. No, what is that thing called? The student manual, this, and the teacher's manual. I took it apart. I did, I uncoiled it. Just straightened the coils out, unrolled it, and then I pulled out all the lessons by quarter. And I made a photocopy of the front cover on just colored cardstock. And I coiled all the lessons for each quarter together. Just so then I ended up with four quarterly books. This is quarter three. So I ended up with four quarterly books with only the lessons that we were working on that quarter. And I did the same thing for the teacher's manual. And it was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. It was light, it was portable. It felt very durable because anything was only getting lugged around for six weeks, not 24. It didn't take up very much room in my, um, in my student's um, school bin or in my bag. It just was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. Plus, the other benefit, and as much as I loved it, we are changing it for this next year, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But the other thing I loved about it was because I was assembling this myself, I was able to put in all the pages that I knew we would want to use. So all the word lists from the student resource notebook, the vocabulary at a glance, which I just showed you. Um, anything else? No, I think just the word lists. Oh, and I was able to incorporate the samples right in. I was just, I just pulled things out of all places and organized it in exactly the order that I liked and um, would use it for with my students. So each quarter I had these um, pages, these SRN pages, all spiral bound in here. And I have to tell you, it was fantastic. It worked really well. It enabled us to have so many of the tools. See, I have another copy right here in the quarter three. All of our tools were right at our fingertips, but the downfall was it was a lot of assembly, as you can imagine. A lot of photocopying of the SRN word lists. Um, the lessons and the samples I didn't copy. I just pulled those right out of the student, the student manual and reorganized all of that. But still, it was a lot of assembly. And, but once we got going, it worked really great. And I never needed, one of the concerns one of my friends had was, oh, well, wait a minute, what if you need something from a prior lesson? And I never did. Once I was into quarter three, I never needed anything from quarter two or I didn't need to look ahead um, in quarter four and definitely not in class. So then we had our booklets at home. But the downfall is now, not only is it a lot of assembly, I now have a lot of pieces to manage. So I have each of the four booklets, plus there were pages from the original student manual that we didn't use, so I have that. So now I have five pieces for the student book and five pieces for the teacher's book, and I just need to reassemble them all back together, which again is more time. So there's just more pieces to hang on to at the end. So it's a upfront and a back end um, time commitment, but 
during the school year it worked out really well. But this year I really wanted to push the easy button because they just released a new um, U.S. history based writing lessons for, um, for 2017, going into the 2017-2018 school year. And my daughter will be in essentials in um, three years from now. And if I'm if I can, I'd love to just hold on to this for her. If you have more than one student, IEW allows you in the copyright notices that are right here in the front of the book, they say for home use that the purchaser may copy the student book for multiple children within your own immediate family. So you're allowed to make copies of this. So instead of spending another 29 and another 29, you can, if you want, make copies. And at Office Max, not the vocab cards, but just these pages here, if you use the Classical Conversations discount card, it works out to be about $6 to make the copies on standard paper, front and back, black and white. And um, well worth it. So what I did was this. I went ahead and had them copy all those pages and then I came home and three hole punched it now that's an important note because if you have them three hole punch it it will actually double your costs because our price for um, our discount price for some of the finishing services is not as great as our discount for copies so just break out your hole punch and you know watch a TV show or something and hole punch all your pages and so I just went ahead and put them in this three ring binder and as we go along in the school year, either every week or every couple of weeks, I'll just pull out the lessons and put them in my son's working notebook. Now, there's a lot of benefits to the three ring binder. First is, I now don't have to make copies of the checklists so that we can put them in the sheet protector anymore. Um, I can just take it right out of the, right out of my copy, I already have it. I can take it right out of my notebook, my son's notebook, and put it right in the checklist. Also, he does like to have his keyword outline in that sheet protector along with his rough draft and his final draft. He likes his keyword outlines in there. Well, guess what? Now I can easily do that. So not only is the keyword outline on there, the brainstorming stuff's in the back, which is great. So it makes this um, manual so much easier for us to use. So I really recommend a three-hole punch approach if you are looking for something different than lugging this around with you. There's something else I want to talk about and that is the student resource packet. Um, it's a whole brand new student resource packet for 2017-2018 and on this blue page if you are new to essentials on this blue page right here, you will get accessing your download instructions that you can do when you get your manual. So do that right away and you'll get this student resource packet. Download the file, look through it, starting on page 91. Oh, and by the way, I did another video all on the student resource packet because I love it so much. I think it's a game changer, it's phenomenal. Check out my other video. I will try and put it at the end screen, but if not, I'll put it in the comments below. So check it out and you can see why I really like it. Um, but what I did was I copied, made an additional copy of page 91 through 150 and had it spiral bound with a clear cover and a, you know, a a backing, a thicker backing. This cover page, I also had them do this cover page, and I will tell you, it is so plain and boring that I wish I would have just put a plain piece of paper, had Office Depot just put a plain piece of paper here so that my son could decorate it himself. That's what I would do if I were to do this again. If I have said Office Max at any point in this video, I'm sorry, I have met Office Depot all along and our local place is still Office Max. It still says Office Max, even though it's now Office Depot. Uh, so just, they're one in the same. But the discount card, it's important that you use the one that says Office Depot. If you don't have it, you need to get it from your director. Don't ask me for it, I can't send it to you, but your director can give that to you for sure. And um, so what's awesome about this is, you know the checklist, literally, 
this goes page by page in the exact order as things are on the checklist. Incredible, fantastic, I love it. Uh, every single dress up has a page. Every single sentence opener has a page with instructions, with details, with tips, all written for your student and formatted in a way that is um, eye-catching and easy to read. I'm gonna show you the who, which one because I really like that. If you looked in the old SRN under who, which, you will see what I am talking about. You'll be like, what, my, my student, that would be confusing for them. Look how clear and nicely formatted with number bullet points, um, very clear examples, advanced techniques here in the back. Just fabulous, fabulous stuff. The whole thing is done really well. Each individual sentence opener has a page. So do you, and not only that, look, here's the number two sentence opener. Look at that, it's the prepositional. Guess what's down here? You're never gonna believe it. Oh, preposition, prepositions, can you see those? Look, prepositions are down there all on the one page. So your student will go through the checklist and as they go through the checklist, they can literally just turn this part of the SRP page by page and all the resources that they need are right there for each, each sentence opener, each decoration has a page, each stylistic technique is fantastic. IEW knocked it out of the park. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have any other ideas or comments or suggestions on how you have set up your um, self for success with IEW, I would love to see them in the comments down below. So put comments down there. If you have a video that you've done or will do, if I'm inspiring you to make a video, um, link it down, put it in the comments, link it down there. And um, that way we can glean from each other's ideas and um, inspiration. So thank you and have a great day. God bless you.